Right fellas, charging the record player, especially in solo, is very tough. In co-op it's much easier with more players, but here is my epic solo guide to smash this step. So when you've got the sword and the record from the previous steps, you want to go get this perk here, and this will make your sword melee damage much better. So now head to pub, and you want to place the record in the record player. So now you need to kill about 40 to 50 zombies with the sword, and you want to be next to the record player. And for this to work properly, you can't leave the pub, and you need to make sure you get consecutive kills. So before you try this, get some monkey bombs and get your camo on full. And the best way to do this is the round before a pest round. You want to leave some zombies at the end of the round. And you want to make sure you kill all the bigger zombies with the electric bats and the bomber zombies. You want to kill them and yeah, make sure you leave some zombies at the end of the round. So once you've done that, you want to head up to the pub and you want to get your sword out. And you want to kill those end of the round zombies. So when you kill those last zombies, the next round will start. You don't want to leave the pub at all. You want to stay next to the record player. And you want to make sure, fellas, that it is the pest round next round. So when the pest zombies spawn, you want to swing your sword at them and just get them killed as fast as you can. These pest zombies are much easier to kill than the normal zombies. And these pest zombies will charge your record player up much easier and much quicker. So when you think there's going to be, you know, loads heading your way, you want to throw a monkey bomb to be safe. And in my opinion, the sword can handle about two zombies at a time and if you see any more pest zombies coming towards you throw a monkey or use your camo so it's a pretty simple step with what you have to do but it is very tough on solo with all the zombies coming your way so the reason you need to stay in the pub is because if you leave all the zombies you have racked up will start to decrease so it's almost like if you're pumping up a football or a balloon and when you step outside the pub it is like you've stopped pumping up that football if that makes sense. So this is why I say you need those consecutive kills. So while you are killing zombies with your sword, the record player will be playing a song. And when you kill enough zombies, that song will start to buffer, and at the same time, you will hear some taps. And the noise that the taps make are a sound like a, like a hammer hitting metal, so you want to be hearing out for that. And when you can hear those taps, this is what you need to do, fellas. So, these taps are in a sequence, and the record player will have four sequences of taps. So, what you need to do, fellas, is count the taps you hear in each of the four sequences. So, I'm going to show you mine, fellas. And the first sequence of taps in my game, there are five taps. In the second sequence, you can hear two taps. In the third sequence, you can hear five. And in the fourth sequence, there are five taps. And then you will hear a long pause. And when you hear this long pause, that is the end of all the sequences. And it's just going to repeat itself again. It is that easy, fellas. All you do is listen out for the taps and write down how many taps you hear in each sequence. So in my game, I had 5255. Five, five. So you need to remember those numbers in your game and then head down to the salt mine. So to finish this step, fellas, you must have completed the Voice of God step, which is in the casual Easter egg. So I'll whack my guide in the description if you need some help with that. And when you've completed the Voice of God step, you can now enter your numbers into this middle machine. So you want to start inputting your numbers on this side of the machine. And my first number of taps from the record player was 5. So we just input 5 into there. Second number was 2. Put 2 into that one. And then the third number of taps in my sequence was 5. So we input that into the machine. And the last number in my sequence was 5. So input those in. And we're just going to have a look again. Our final look. And as you can see, here are my numbers inputted correctly on the middle machine. And when you're ready, press square to activate the machine. And boom, you've completed this step, fellas. But if you fail it, make sure you've heard your taps right from the record player. And make sure you start inputting your first sequence of taps into the left side of this machine. And then go around that way, fellas. So please subscribe, and I'll see you later.